Hey there, y'all. Disney D Prince here today with a new brand of unboxing. Today we have the Spin Master Mermaid High Spring Break dolls. These are the first of the Mermaid High, the Mermaid High that came out, and they are finally starting to go on clearance. I wanted to check out the quality on a clearance version before I spent more on some of the new ones that have come out. There are, I think, six of them that have come out so far, but they are all very cute. They're still in that monster high, big head kind of thing, which I don't always love, but it's just more popular with doll makers right now because with a bigger head it's easier to do the hair it's easier to do the face up uh, and it's easier to do more varied face ups on a larger like bubble face but I'm still not a huge fan of them uh, as far as big head dolls in general um, but I do want to see what the quality on these is like uh, these, I believe, retailed for $21 around there. Uh, I did pick them up for 12 each because I was like, you know what? I'm going to see what they're like. Uh, just because, you know, at the very least, I could probably use these mermaid tail outfits for um, for other dolls at the, if I need to. Uh, so let's take a look at the first one. So they do have names. So this one is Spring Break Sierra. I think they're ocean water puns. Because then we have Spring Break Oceana. Uh, so they're all, they're both very cute. Okay, so in the, uh, in this line, there were only four that got released. Finley, Sierra, Oceana, and Rainer. And this is what they kind of look like on the back. It says Mermaid High, Splashing for Fashion. Um, and then it's got a QR code to take you to the Mermaid High site. And it does say, it does show the contents on here. So it says one doll, one mermaid tail, one pair of sunglasses, one crown, one body chain, one pair of shoes, one piece bathing suit with arm buffs. So that's kind of cool. And then the hair streak changes color in the sun. I'm not sure how that's going to work, but uh, I'm also probably not going to test that because it's actually like four o'clock in the morning as I record this right now because I woke up really early. So we are going to try to figure out the way to break into this box because it is a weird box style. But there's some tape right here, which doesn't really do anything because there's also glue under it. Um, and then the back of the box, is really I don't there's not a great way to get into this box how are you supposed to do it you know what? I'm just gonna pull from one of the corners that's a little looser this is not an easy box to get into from the looks of it and there's a lot of glue that is already sticking to my fingers um, so I'm gonna just try to uh, open it from this corner that we've got exposed, which doesn't look like it's going to be much easier to get to. I've already got stuff sticking to my fingers. So far, not a fan of this box, um, but let's see. And it's got that really thick box glue that we find on some of them. I'm 
just kind of pulling just because there's not really a great way to get these off. Uh, it's a very pretty box. And it's almost like it's designed to be left in the box, which I never appreciate that because first and foremost, dolls are toys and it drives me nuts when a toy which is designed for small children because these are the recommended age is um, four and up this is zero to three um, so here she is outside of the box look at that face very pretty looks like really thick rooting along the hairline uh, we're gonna get her out and look at a little bit more of that a little closely sorry my toolbox is a little overflowing and we're gonna try to do these as easily as possible Is one right there at the waist also. Uh, I'm just kind of pushing this hair out of the way. I'm gonna bet there's a there's a head staple back there. Yes, there was. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at this a little closer now. She's very cute. Uh, this is how the body chain goes around. It's not very firm plastic, but it's still very cute. Um, no wrist articulation, a little disappointing from the brand that gave us uh, Live Dolls, but that's okay. Oh, and there's still one more, uh, one more staple in there that's connecting the tail fins together. But this is a great tail fin. It's nice fabric got two layers it actually spreads out really wide compared to the doll um, and it's very pretty this hair quality is awesome like there's no glue in it I don't know how well uh, stuff is gonna hold up to water playing considering it is a uh, doll that's kind of designed to be played in the water because it's a mermaid uh, but this fabric feels great it's a little bit of a stretch fabric which is nice so it should fit on like Barbies and things like that um, and then we are going to look at the other accessories that come with that and that is our sunglasses very cute uh, a little big for other doll brands, but very cute nonetheless. And we've got these little shoes for when we take her tail off. Not very tight fitting at the back, which is kind of nice. Uh, that means we can probably fit um, some other brands of feet in there. Um, so let's take a look at what's underneath her tail. So that does just pop off really easily. There is also a dorsal fin back there, which I love. That's very, very oftentimes stuff that's left off of a uh, doll. But this swimsuit is super cute and it's stretched, but it also has a Velcro closure. And it's actually a one piece, even though it looks like a two piece. So I actually love this. It's got a uh, Velcro closure for the ribbon at the neck, which is great. Um, and then 
Yeah, she looks super cute. She does have earring holes, even though she doesn't come with any earrings. Uh, she's got this really pretty braid along the side. So yeah, Sierra's kind of cool. The, uh, the body chain part is just sewn onto the swimsuit. I don't love that fact. I kind of wish it was more of a snap, because now I have to take this with me with any swimsuit. Or just kind of have it be useless if I change it on a different doll. Which kind of sucks, because this is a really cute, like, just kind of basic swimsuit that I would love to use for my Rainbow High dolls. Uh, maybe for, like, Kaya. Or something like that to give her a Pacific Coast. Uh, no ankle articulation. We do have heeled feet. That is about the level that you're going to get with the knees. So, not thrilled with these bodies at the price point that they gave us. I do appreciate that they are articulated. Um, but from the brand that gave us Live Dolls, this is a step down in a major way. And I'm very glad I didn't spend the uh, the full, like, uh, $21 or whatever it was. Just because this doesn't feel like they did anything groundbreaking. It's just a articulated doll that is... Um, that has a fabric tail. And when you look at their feet, their feet kind of go out like that. There's no, um, there's no lateral articulation. You can't spin the, uh, the calves at all. It's a little disappointing, but she's very cute. Some cute accessories to go with her, um, this tail is very cute. I do like the tail. Um, so, very cute. Let's take a look at the Oceana now. And she's in more of like a sporty swimsuit. So it does look like each of these has their own... Um, swimsuit. And on this one, I think I'm just going to cut. I'm going to cut along the edge because I feel like that's just going to be a lot faster than trying to, um, than trying to get it to where it's supposed to be. So it is a little easier to go that way um, rather than trying to get the other stuff to come off. I'm still going to do a little bit of pulling, I guess. So here she is out of the plastic. Very cute. Uh, excuse me, very 90s vibe. Uh, let's get her fully out. Again, always careful when we're cutting to avoid any of the fabric parts. She 
she comes with like a sport visor instead of sunglasses. So she's still keeping the sun out of her face. She's got um, she has staples in the same place it looks like. So that's nice. And we're gonna just pop her out like that. So here she is out of the plastic. Very cool. You can see the print lines on her eyes, kinda. She is wearing earrings, which is always nice. Because earrings are generally pretty uh, compatible across dolls. She's got these three knots up here, which are always kind of a fun hairstyle. She's got a little bit of rainbow going on in her hair. Again, the streak changes color in the sun. Uh, and then she actually has two staples in her fin. So I'm gonna have to pop those off. So this is what her fin looks like. So it's got a very cool top fin. Uh, and then a kind of a different material for the bottom fin. It's almost a uh, pool toy feel. As you can see, she's got like a belt that's printed on to her tail and some cool uh, scale designs. I actually don't know if I like this outfit as much as I like the, um, I don't know if I like this tail as much as I like the other tail, but still cute. We're gonna look at our shoes real quick. So we've got our shoes right here. They do have a little like palm tree built into them. Take that trash out of the way. Um, so, let me show you again this, uh, how the uh, tail comes off. Uh, this tail actually has a Velcro on it, which is a little weird. I don't know why they needed a Velcro. Uh, did this one have a Velcro? Oh, this one had a Velcro and I just missed it. It just came off a little easier. Um, so the tails do have Velcro on there. I like this swimsuit a lot better, I think, just because there's no chain that's coming down here that I have to worry about if I take it off this doll and put it onto another one. Um, her bottoms are just stretch, so she should work pretty well for most other dolls, I think. Uh, top can be a little tight, on some dolls, but it should work on Rainbow High. But she's very cute. Um, I would liken these probably most to the um, to the hair dorables, like the what call it the bigger dolls that they've done pretty recently in the last couple of years um, as to uh, scale and body size. So their body size is pretty... Um, it's pretty nice. It's not a... Um, it's not super realistic size. Uh, but the head is not really that out of proportion with the body because it's not huge. They do stand up on their own pretty well. As you can see, they're not really, like that one is leaning. And I'm not sure if it's because I have the shoes on the wrong feet or what, but her feet point out a lot. So they don't really stand up on their own, but they lean pretty well. Uh, I don't want to mess up her hair by putting the little uh, visor on her, but 
Again, here is our tail for Oceana. And it goes just like that. And here's our tail for Cedra, which I think is the better tail. Uh, but again, they look really cute. I'm just a little disappointed in the articulation. I was willing to give up the articulated uh, wrist just because I am okay with that sometimes. If the arms are articulated enough that you can move them around. Uh, I was hoping that these were going to have double articulated knees like the Live Dolls did, but... I was wrong, they do not. And they also don't have articulated ankles, which makes me a little sad. But they're really pretty. Overall, I think these would probably be a decent head swap to get to a more reasonable size on a, um, on a Rainbow High doll. Like, here is my... Uh, custom Avery, again, you can see they are going to be a lot taller than the Rainbow High Bodies, but their heads, I feel like, would be a better fit for these bodies. Let me show you a little more up close what I'm talking about, because these heads would be just barely wiser than the shoulders, while also being, you know, about 50% smaller than a rainbow high head. So if you were going to rebody them for more articulation, still not perfect articulation here on a rainbow high doll, um, but closer to what I'm looking for in dolls. Again, the goat is the made to move Barbie or the live dolls. If Liv Doll had come out with a lot more dolls. But they are really cute. And then let me show you on a Rainbow High doll what that would look like. I'm going to use a different one because I don't want to take all that off of Avery right now. I'm going to use my Brianna that I kind of have sitting off to the side. So here she is. If you were looking to put these onto Rambo High, let me show you. So they do have molded underwear under there also. Sorry, my allergies are acting way up right now, y'all. If you hear me sniffling over here on the phone. Uh, so we're trying, we're trying. The only part that really gets stuck is some parts um, when you're right at that hip joint for articulation. All right, but it does fit on there if you can get the uh, the what you call it. To pop up there we go there's that last seam that was just hiding under there so those bottoms do fit on there let me show you how the top would fit uh, again this probably wouldn't be a final fit for her uh, just because uh, these really aren't her colors but anyway so they do fit on a rainbow high, which is great. It means they're probably gonna fit on most Barbies also. I don't have any Barbies handy right now. But I actually like the way this suit looks better on a rainbow high doll. Uh, but lots of options when it comes to it. You want to get it a little more high-waisted to avoid those hip joints, but still a pretty good fit. 
pretty decent fit for what it is. And of course, if you wanted to put the tail on, I don't know if this would fit the tail, uh, but it does have a uh, Velcro. So we'll see. Oh yeah. So the tail easily fits over Rainbow High. Um, and so that's kind of the look that you get with a Rainbow High doll. It's gonna be a little more uh, tension on there. You gotta adjust it a little bit more to get it right. But it's a cute mermaid tail for them. Uh, I do love when dolls make stuff in stretch fabric because it makes it so much easier to accommodate these for um, for other dolls. So, yeah, that's what it looks like. Nothing straining on this or anything. Uh, so, while I'm not super pleased with the actual dolls they came with, I'll probably keep these uh, outfits at the very least for Rainbow High. Uh, but again, there's always something coming out. Uh, trying to avoid getting any of this stuck in the creases, and it is not very uh, doable. There we go. Right, so bottoms come off easily enough, and then they just pop right back on our regular doll right there. Uh, they do get a little stretched, but not too bad. But yeah, I mean, cute, nothing really else to say about them. Uh, they just have the lateral, um, lateral articulation on the neck. They don't have vertical. But it's okay. They're decently cute, but they are printed faces. Let's see if these earrings have pegs in them. So no, the earrings come out really easily. That's nice. I like that. I don't like when the earrings are secured in the uh, in the head, uh, just because it means you can't swap those out easily enough. Um, the hair is really soft. I will give them that. Uh, it's styled without any gel, which I love. Um, so, you know. It's a cute doll line. I'm not sure how good the market's gonna receive it. I've had people that are very excited for these that I've seen on Instagram, but I don't know if the uh, quality is gonna be there for everyone to be spending over $20 on these dolls in stores. Um, if they had come out at like 15 each, I feel like they would have probably been at a better price point because honestly, they're not much different than a, uh, than like a swimsuit OMG doll other than they have the articulation on the arms and knees, which I feel like does take the bodies from, you know, from $5 to $10 probably. But anyway, I mean, they're cute. The tails are inventive. Um, but will I search for the other two? Eh, probably not. I'll probably look them up online and see if the swimsuits are worth, uh, trying to hunt down but other than that I think these swimsuits are just going to be donor suits to whatever rainbow high dolls I want to put in my um, in my pacific coast playline 
So if you guys have any questions on these, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed it, leave a like on the video, and as always, follow along for some more fun unboxings because I'm always trying to find new things to look at and see where we're coming from for a bunch of different brands. So, thanks for watching, y'all. Be good. Bye.